Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. Today we are going to be doing a monthly update for the Advent Calendar Project Pan. This project was created by Elen and the whole point of this project was to kind of create the fun and excitement of an advent calendar in a year-long project. I don't have an advent calendar, unfortunately. I really wish I did. So instead, I just made a list on a sheet of paper of 24 items, and I'm using an app called Tiny Decisions to help me choose what products I get from month to month. I roll in two new products every month throughout the year, and my goal is to finish as many as I can every month. This is a really good month for this project. Not all months are good months, but this month is a good update. So where do I begin? Let's talk about these two products. These are two carryovers from last year's Advent Calendar Project Pan. I just rolled them over into this Project Pan, but obviously I wanted them gone more than the rest of these products to some extent. And this was the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation. And this was a very old sample of prescriptives. And I ended up combining them both into a little container alongside the tail ends of a couple of products that were almost gone, a foundation, a BB cream, um, and a glowy illuminating product. And I put them all into this container right here. This is an old green clean container. And I've been working on it for months, off and on. I finally finished it. I will pop up a picture of what it looks like finished. I've already refilled this container. This is now housing the majority of my MAC Lightful C Tinted Serum. It was just driving me crazy that I could not tell how much product I had left in that bottle. So I dumped it into this package so that at least I could track how far I'm coming along with that product because I want to work on that next. But the good news is that these two products are finally done and I couldn't be happier. The next empty is another product from last year's advent calendar and it is the final product from last year's advent calendar and it is another foundation product. It is the NYX kind of like custom drops. I don't remember what they were officially called but they were kind of like the cover effects custom drops and this was the shade golden and I had the intention of using this as like a cream bronzer and I was also working on another cream bronzer and uh, I felt like I needed to finish that cream bronzer first, so I was holding off on this one, but then an open container became available and I just thought, I'll just take a break from that one and work on this one. And this one only lasted like four days. It went so quickly. So I'm so glad I took a break from that other bronzer, which I'll be talking about in just a second to get this knocked out. And this is now gone too, which means that I have officially finally finished my 2021 advent calendar project. Yay, it's only almost May and I've finally done it. So that is really good news, but I have one more empty and it is an item from this year's advent calendar. And it is this. This just rolled in at last month's update. This is the Julep Beauty, the multi-masker. It's a sheet mask system with three specific zones that solve skin issues. It had three separate pieces, a peachy, orangey piece that goes on your forehead and your nose like a pinky lavender piece that goes on your cheeks and then this green piece that straps around your chin. I don't like face masks and I specifically dislike sheet masks even more than I dislike masking in general. I particularly detest sheet masks. I don't like the fact that they're disposable, like a one use in the garbage thing. I don't like the way they feel. I don't like that cold, wet, slimy sen sensation. No, I, I don't like anything about sheet masks. However, every once in a while, one comes my way, like this one. Julep was kind enough to send this product along with a lot of other PR to me, and I felt obligated to try it out. Now, I am not the best person to get a review of a sheet mask from because obviously I don't like sheet masks. But as far as sheet masks go, I thought this was relatively good. Um, my skin did feel amazingly plump and soft when it was finally all over. But the experience of sitting down with this thing, slimy thing all over my face is torture. And it freaks my kids out. Both of them came down that morning and they're like, what's wrong, mom? And I'm like, hey, I've got a sheet mask on. Don't I look cool? And they're like, no. I said, don't I look young and beautiful? And my son, the one who cannot tell a lie, the one who is painfully honest, said, mom, when I think of young and beautiful, I think of skinny. So 
Ron no longer is getting an inheritance and it's all going to Hazel, but that's okay. Um, so here's the thing. Uh, this worked fine, but every part of this worked fine except for this chin strap green piece. Uh, it didn't really want to stay on and I just spent, I felt like I spent the entire time trying to keep it stuck to my chin and it wasn't really working too well for me. So that was a little frustrating, but you only leave this on for 10 minutes, I think. Yep, this is a sheet mask that you leave on for 10 minutes. So glad it's over, glad I used it up. I would have hoarded this for the next decade if I hadn't put it in this project, so it's gone. So that means I am down four products in this project. I couldn't be happier. There are a few products rolling over for yet another month. Let me show you what those are next. First of all, I have my cream bronzer. This is a this is a concealer sample from NARS in the shade Hazelnut. I love the NARS concealer. I don't remember what the official name is, but it's a NARS creamy concealer that's in like a pot, like a jar. I've used this as a foundation. I've used this as a cream bronzer and I love it. I've never used it as a concealer. I should try it one day, but I love this product very much and I'm still working on it. I'm wearing it today. I still have not hit pan. I feel like I'm getting a dip in there, but it is going unbelievably slowly with this product. I'm gonna be working on this for months to come, which is a bummer because I have another cream bronzer I was really looking forward to getting to working on and I haven't been able to touch it all year because of that thing. Another product that is a lifer in this project is my lipstick from Urban Decay. This is the shade Back Talk. I normally have it on during these videos, but I'm not wearing it today. I'm wearing something else. But I have been working on this and I am making good progress. I I know it would be possible to finish this off by next month. I don't know if that will actually happen, but I'm definitely starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel on this product. And finally, I have another lip sample. This is the Bobbi Brown Crushed Liquid Lip Sample in the shades Smoothie Move and Big Apple. I was so excited to try this formula out, but unfortunately, I'm just not crazy about either of these shades. So um, I will get around to using it. I just hadn't had a chance to use it in the past month. So it's rolling over again. All right, there are two new products rolling into this project. I went to my Tiny Decisions app, I rolled two times and I got numbers 10 and number four, and they both happen to be perfume samples, which I'm kind of excited about. I think I can get through these pretty quickly. This is a sample of Perry Ellis 360, and there's only this much product left in here. This is an almost goner. I don't know why I've been holding on to it for the, this long, but I think I can get through this pretty quickly. And this is a sample of Lucky You. And it's full to about here. So hopefully I could get through both of these in the next month. I should be able to if I can just remember to use them. Um, out of all of the samples I currently still own, I have a couple here and there. I, have, I still have several more lipsticks from the Urban Decay samples. I have a couple of foundations. Um, but what I really have the most of are these little perfume samples and I'm thinking already that if I am able to do this project again next year, it'll be 100% perfume samples, 24 perfume samples in a year and I'm going to try and get through all 24. So just a little sneak peek as to what I'm thinking about for next year. But I think if I do this project again next year, it will be 100% perfume samples and I'll just dig around in my little container and pull one out or two out every month throughout the year. But these are the two that are rolling in for this month and I'm looking forward to trying them out. I don't have any like knowledge about either of these scents. Perry Ellis doesn't smell like much. It smells very alcoholic. It's probably on the older side. And this Lucky You one That smells nice. I'm not sure what I'm smelling, but it's nice. All right, we will get through both of these in the next month and um, hopefully I can get through something else. Maybe this lipstick.
or maybe, yeah, maybe this lipstick. If I can get through this lipstick in the next month, that would be really good. So that is it for this update. Thank you so much for watching. I will have links down below to Elaine's channel, as well as a listing of everybody else that has done or is currently doing this project. So if you want to check out some more project panners, you could find them listed down below. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.